Hi everybody, I am back. Um, I'm back in Manila. I apologize for the delay in posting a video, but this is my update for my 13 to 15 week video. Um, the reason I kind of clumped it together is because it's, it's a transition time between 13 to 15 weeks. And also, I've been traveling for the last two weeks. So um, I wanted to do a video while I was on my travel, but um, at the same time, I just wanted to stay in the moment and soak it all in. So here I am, update 13 to 15 weeks. So let me just give you a little bit um, of where I'm at. So uh, just a quick rundown on what happened in the 13 week. 13 week, the baby is about three inches long and it's the size of a pea pod, which is like this. And it weighs about an ounce. Um, and the great thing about 13 week, I'm just gonna sum it up briefly because it's the last week of the first trimester. Woo! Which is great. And it's my favorite time because that's when you start to not feel nauseous anymore and um, you start to get your energy back. Um, and that will carry you through to the second trimester, um, starting 14 weeks. Um, this is also the time to really get focused on my nutrition, so I like to make sure um, that I, I'm really strict about my prenatal vitamins. I say strict, but I'm really, you know, I just want to make sure that you're growing a human baby inside of you. You want to make sure you give it the right nutrients and the building blocks. And um, the most important right now is to make sure you get protein, about 71 grams, and you get that from lean meats, eggs, dairy, um, nuts, fish, salmon. And then um, iron is really important. You need about 21 milligrams a day. You also get that from lean red meat um, and also broccoli, spinach, legumes, lentils, among some foods. This is also the time I like to double up on vitamin C. Um, so, I mean double up meaning I like to make sure I have enough in my body because we are the only, we're, we're, as humans, our bodies don't produce vitamin C whereas other animals can. So it's really important for us to make sure we have our vitamin C intake for the day because our organs need that to function properly. And you're growing a baby! You need that! Um, and another thing is calcium. You need about a thousand milligrams of calcium a day um, for the baby's bone and teeth development. And this is really, really important because if you don't take added calcium, um, you, your body will take it from your bones, which will lead to osteoporosis later, later on. Um, and as a woman, you know we're prone to it because of you know having children, breastfeeding, all those things. So we have to make sure we have calcium. And the best way to get all of these vitamins, nutrients, and all that is through prenatal vitamins, as well as food. Um, I also like to supplement, um, supplement my supplement with real food. Um, I, I like eating fresh vegetables, fruits. Make sure you have about, about five servings of fruits and veggies a day. And I try to do about three servings of protein. So as you can tell, I'm getting my appetite back which is another favorite part of my um, transition from first trimester to second trimester because um, I love to eat. I love all foods. I love to cook. I love to do um, meal planning for my family. So, you know, making sure that our nutrition is balanced, um, that the baby's getting enough to eat. And um, yeah, so food. Um, Going into the second trimester, 14 weeks, baby is 3.5 inches, 1.5 ounce in weight, and about a size of a lemon, like that. Lemon. Um, now we are full on second trimester. Everything is great. I love it. Um, this is the time where I get so much energy and all of a sudden I get so inspired about um, just creating space for the baby. This is a perfect time to travel. I mean, given that your doctor gives you the go signal, which my doctor did, and the moment he did, I booked that ticket and I went back to LA. And shout out to my husband. I love you. You are so amazing and supportive because he pretty much like told me to go because um, he knows that when I'm here, my one-year-old Ace is... Uh, 
requires a lot of attention and is so used to being with mama and wants to be held and um, you know I'm pregnant so it's hard for me to carry him a lot so he was like go go to LA reconnect with yourself reconnect with your friends reconnect with your everything that inspires you so for the last two weeks that's what I've been doing so I apologize for the delay in video but I've just been rejuicing myself and you know and I feel great now that I'm back um, and but while I was in LA like I said it's the best time to travel I love to eat so I hit up almost every taco place or every Mexican place I came across because it's one of my favorite foods um, I love I eat guacamole definitely every day so my baby got lots of the healthy fats avocados um, yeah and I, and I just love connecting with you know my mommy friends and seeing how everyone's evolving and growing and growing their families and um, and it's interesting to share information you know I call it mommy intel when we share, share like our tips our tricks what do we do for feeding time for napping time how do we put them down are you sleep training like all these conversations that we didn't have five years ago it's so interesting to be having them now and we just like laugh about it because most of my friends are in LA, most of my really close girlfriends, I went to school there and um, you know I spent pretty much all of my 20s in LA so uh, it's really nice to just reconnect with everyone. Um, I also had a chance to do meditation and yoga every day while I was in LA um, and shout out to Wanderlust Hollywood, I love that place. I um, had amazing teachers, had meditation, I had Megan Moynihan, um, she was really wonderful, a very gentle meditation and then I was doing prenatal yoga and then I was doing flow and kundalini. So it was really nice, I, I feel like my body's juiced, my mind is juiced, my soul is rejuvenated and um, all of this in LA by the beach and also soaking in some of that California sun. So coming back to Manila, I now feel like, all right, I'm back. We are second trimester. I am super focused now on this pregnancy. Um, and this is the time that now that I'm back, I all of a sudden just like, I get into this nesting mode where I do a full on house detox. I get rid of everything that we don't need everything that no longer serves our lifestyle, our family. Um, I'm not much, I mean, I don't know if you could tell, but I'm not much one of, I, I'm not much of a collector or a hoarder or anything like that. Um, I'm pretty minimal. I don't know if you could tell, but my house is pretty empty. Um, two purposes, because my son needs to run around now. He's like, he, otherwise he'll be bumping into everything. And second, it's just like, I feel like the less clutter, my mind is clear. Um, and it really helps me. So I try to do that um, all throughout the house. Um, of course, starting with physical products that I, I see, you know, starting with bigger things, furniture, just things we don't need. And then we work it out through clothes and then books and just everything detox. Um, aside from the physical detox of the house, we do an internal detox of the house as well, where we clean out all the cleaning products um, and I did this during the first pregnancy because I'm very particular about cleanliness and I'm so particular about the toxins that's inside cleaning um, chemicals like you know um, floor cleaner toilet cleaner things like that so we switched over to non-toxic um, pretty much DIY formulas, which I will post a link on below to my Pinterest boards. You can see all the different formulas that I use. And basically it's just, you know, a few ingredients, which is baking soda, vinegar, sometimes apple cider vinegar. I use Castile soap. And then we also use um, essential oils, depending on what you want it to smell like. Um, so that way my house feels really clean it feels very green it feels light and bright which is what i love um what else okay so 14 weeks uh or second trimester we're back and uh, the reason i like to do all this nesting stuff and and start to get anything i need is because this is the time where i have energy 
and that is the time where I'm most active and I could still drive and you know my belly's not too big and I'm not too uncomfortable to move around because I know come third trimester I'm not going to want to move around. I'm not going to want to go anywhere. All you want to do is like you just feel so big and and uncomfortable that you need to rest a lot of the times um, and then go on walks and stuff but uh, resting third trimester is much more important. So I try to get everything done now. Um, and what else? Okay, so second trimester, I'll catch you up now, 15 weeks, four inches long, 2.5 ounces in weight, and is now a size of an apple. There it is, apple. Last week was a lemon, so it's an apple. So as you can see, babies are growing really fast at this stage. Um, they're pretty much all complete. Uh, they have all their body parts now. Um, this is the time too that they've developed their sound, their ears, and um, I mean, as a person, I always, I love music, so I always play music in the house all the time, anyway. But um, more so now because now the baby can hear. So I like to play like really relaxing music, calming music, um, things that will uplift your spirit, like put you in a positive mood. I like acoustic. I love reggae, you know, things like that. I try not to listen to anything to gangster rap, although I love rap um, and hip hop, but if they have like a good vibe to it, I'll listen to it. But if it's too much like profanity, I, I try not to. I don't want to <laughs> send that energy to my baby right now. Maybe we'll listen to that when they're a little bit older. So yeah, so here I am, I'm back. Um, 15 weeks. Well, actually now I am just starting the 16 week and we have um, the ultrasound tomorrow. We have the 16 week ultrasound. So I will post another video this week for the 16 week video. So tune in for that. And shout out to the lovely moms and pregnant goddesses who watches my videos because it's so inspiring to get your feedback and um, your suggestions and your comments are very much welcome. So please leave me a comment below. I would love to hear your thoughts. And if there's anything you want me to talk about, um, let me know. Uh, I would love to talk to you and, and give you some insight and some tips and, and you know how to have a happy and healthy pregnancy. Because you have to remember this is why we have this beautiful blessing of a baby inside of us is we're creating this life and we have to make sure we create the environment to bring it in and in a very positive and nurturing way. Um, so yes, so thank you to my mommies. I ran into some of them in Restance and totally gave, got the best, um, Restance is a grocery store here. So, you know, I, I was really encouraged when they gave me really good feedback. So thank you very much. Um, again, Teresa Herrera, if you have any questions, um, comment below. Also follow me, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Teresa, at Teresa Herrera 27 And then all the links below through my social media platforms. But most of the pregnancy information will be in this vlog. So follow me on this journey and um, I will see you later. I will see you next time. Bye.